all night Putting things on the side What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have I'm feeling what we are now All I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm running with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster You're messing with my head I'm ending up so clueless What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions Tell me what do you For tuning in. Today's video I thought I would switch it up a little bit so I'm coming in here with a little haul in the middle but I wanted to start it off with some vlog footage. I was recently able to stop by a Louis Vuitton event. It was a specific exotics event that was happening at their flagship store on Fifth Ave. Um, I hope you were able to get a good glimpse of what was happening there but um, it was like, to my understanding, I think it's like the first event that they have resumed in New York. Um, so it, it was like appointment based and I, an exotics specialist kind of took you through the ethos, if you will. Um, each area was focused on a particular region. Um, so there was like Africa um, and like the desert and the sunset. Um, and then there were um, more of Southeast Asia, which was much more tropical. So you got those beautiful emerald green turquoisey colors. And then there was uh, a bit of like Europe, which was like Santorini and um, like the, the, the Mykonos, like the, the blues of that area, um, followed by the Sakura blossoms in Japan. Um, which had more of the pinks and the reds. Each area inspired a different set of colors and those and then the exotic specialist went through uh, and explained the different techniques that exist on LV exotics. So there were a bunch of beautiful pieces there and I just loved the whole setup as well. It was really beautiful to look at. Um, and it was really interesting to learn about the exotics making process. Um, they had a whole layout of all the different pieces that are required. So it was really fun. Uh, I hope you sort of felt like you were able to come along. Um, I didn't want to film while anyone was actually speaking because I didn't know if they really wanted to be on camera. So I focused more on glimpses of the bits that um, were part of the installation, but yeah. All of the pieces are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they did have a lot of croc pieces there, uh, though they do ha have exotics in um, snakeskin, lizard, ostrich, and croc. Those are the four main exotic skin types they use. And you can always place a special order piece that's very specific to what you would want it to be. The one of a kinds incur like a 20% specialty fee above retail, uh, but it will be one of a kind and specific to exactly what you want it to be. So Louis Vuitton always offers that service as well. It takes about a year or so for them to make it. So they always say if you are looking at a particular milestone, you know, a specific birthday or an anniversary or something in the future, then the earlier you start that process, the more likely it will be ready in time. 
But I'm not here to just talk about that exotics event. I'm here to share a couple of pieces that I have picked up from Louis Vuitton recently. As always, I will have the chapters indicated below so you can always fast forward or go back to different portions so that you can figure out what sections you want to watch. Let me know if you like this kind of style of where I mix a little bit of vlog footage in with a haul. Sometimes I feel like hauls can be too much of like, I just sit down and I talk to you. And then sometimes I feel like vlogs can be a little too much of like, I don't talk to you. <laughs> it's all like showing scenery or things and, and there's very minimal talking. So I feel like this is a good blend of the two, but you guys let me know if you like this, you wanna see more of this or less of this, just let me know in the comments down below. So I'm gonna start off with a piece that I picked up from the Exotics event, and it came in this cute box right here. I, I realized I just said it's from the Exotics event. It's because it is a piece from the Fifth Avenue flagship store. That's not my usual store. So I, tie, I associate it with the Exotics event, but it's not actually an exotic piece. It is actually this piece right here. So excited, I cannot believe we found this. But after the Exotics event, we went through pretty much every single floor uh, in the flagship store. We even went to the, what they call the apartment. The apartment is like the VIP appointment area. Um, we did not have a VIP appointment. We were able to stop by because they had a lot of the men's exotics pieces in the apartment. So we went up there to check that section out. Um, that was my first time there. It's gorgeous and we started from the apartment and we pretty much checked out each floor and on the mezzanine floor we uncovered that there was one of these left we were really surprised um, for those of you that might not recognize this is from the lv nigo collaboration that happened last year i think it was last summer um, it, the collection itself was called LV Squared, hence the Louis Vuitton Squared. And this was the cap that was part of that collection. They also had a bucket hat, I believe, that was in like denim and black denim. And then they also had this cap. And we wanted this cap, but we were too late in the pre-order process. We just, we just missed out. So we thought they were all gone. And we honestly didn't even think about looking for it at the time because we just totally assumed they were all gone. Yeah, we were just uh, really lucky, really excited that we found one um, at the flagship store. This is a size 60, and the other Louis Vuitton cap that I have is the LV Clouds one in the denim. That's actually a 58, so this is a little bit larger than that one, um, but it's not too large that we can't wear it. I did share in my recent like LV Best and Worst that the cap was one of my favorite purchases from Vuitton, so I'm really stoked to have this one in our collection as well. It's super, I, like, I just really like, it's just black, it's really simple. It has a little bit of a shed on the back, um, similar to the denim one. I would argue that um, the construction, so the, the pattern of this hat is different, the actual hat pattern, not the pattern on it. Um, if you can, I'm trying to do my best to, to, to be able to show you, but it's like a flat, there's like one panel that goes all the way around, and then there's one round panel at the top um, with the brim. Let me get my um, other one to compare. So this is the LV uh, Clouds denim cap that we have. So you see this one's much more of like a baseball cap style where the panels go up into a point at the top. And this hat does not really have that sort of construction. It's much more of a flatter construction and this is more dome shape. Um, I really actually like the shape of this one. I feel like it looks really cool on your head. It kind of looks like um, like a train conductor's hat like because it's really flat in the front um, and it has a little bit of like an edge, <laughs> like a squared off edge on it. And I feel like it looks really nice on the head um, and it would suit a lot of head shapes, if that makes sense. I actually already have worn it out. My boyfriend and I have both already worn this out and that's how excited we are. Th that's usually my personal gauge for how excited I am for a new piece. Like, do I wear it the moment it arrives? Then I know it's a good keeper. If I notice that it sits on the floor, like it doesn't even make it into my closet, it sits in the shopping bag, like on the floor of my bedroom, then usually it's a contender to go back to the store. It means I don't love it enough that I'm like absolutely, 
you know, wait, cannot wait to wear it. Like if I don't have that kind of feeling, usually it's something that should go back. So we've already worn this. Um, we've already worn the other item as well. Actually, I said we, but my boyfriend already wore this item. I haven't worn it out yet. It's in this dust bag. It is clearly a ready to wear piece. This is from a more recent collection. <laughs> Ta-da! This is the LV Monogram workwear denim shirt. It has like the ink slash watercolor effect with the like workwear stripe denim. This is the back. And you'll also see the buttons are like a hammered finish and they're really cool. There's a pocket on both sides um, and they are a push button closure, but there's no pockets anywhere else. I believe this came out pretty oversized. In case you're looking at this piece, um, uh, I feel like even for menswear, it came out pretty oversized. So my boyfriend actually sized down. So that's how large it can, I think because it's a workwear inspired piece, it is oversized to begin with. So that's why this is quite oversized. You guys might know last summer, I think Dior Stussy was last summer, right? So last summer we picked up the denim shirt from the Dior Stussy collection as well. We wear that a ton. Um, I think that even emerged as like one of my best purchases of 2020, like the whole year because of how much we wear it. And so we know how much we wear that. And actually my boyfriend's been wearing it a lot to the point where I wasn't having a lot of opportunity to wear it. So, <laughs> so that's why we decided to get another piece. Personally, I think because this one's a little oversized, I feel like it fits better on my boyfriend's frame than on my frame. I think the Dior Stussy one works a little bit better for me. I think because it's a little bit shorter, this one, the length is pretty long. He'll probably wear this more than I will. I will still probably steal it from him a couple of times. We also checked out the multicolor watercolor pieces as well. I think that whole collection might have an official name. I'm sorry, I, I don't know the full name of it. That collection is really beautiful. I saw a few pieces in person. I saw the keep all, the pochette voyage, and um, one of the bum bags. It's actually a, a print that I think looks much better in person. I don't think all of the photos necessarily do it justice. That also is a really gorgeous collection. So if you're interested, I think they're trickling into the boutiques now. So I would definitely, um, ask your local boutique or your SA or your CA technically um, to see if um, they have any or they can get some for you. But yeah, that's it. Those are all of the pieces that I recently picked up from Louis Vuitton. Again, from the men's collection. I'll probably be styling them a lot on my Instagram, so I would definitely head over there if you're interested to see a lot more uh, styling inspiration for these. Like always, um, let me know your thoughts on these new pieces. You like them, you don't like them. Are, are there anything else from the recent Louis Vuitton collections that you have your eyes on? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to leave those down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, 